I have made a video previously about Monomay Norns, which is a open musical computing scripting platform. Uh, there's also a Crow made by Monomay, which is a Eurorack module that can connect to Norns and further to uh, voltage controlled synthesizers, uh, in this case Eurorack modular. Uh, Crow can also act independently as a scripting platform, but I've used it mostly uh, connected to Norns, which makes it very easy to script um, both the functionality of Norns and Crow. Uh, I've made a quantizer for Norns, Crow and Monome Grid, which is a control platform. Everything made by Monome is pretty much open, uh, scriptable, you can make it do whatever you want. So, my goal was to make a playable quantizer that uh, can be played through grid and connect to my modular with the crow. This is a short overview of this script. It's still work in progress, so this video is about my first published version, which will probably be numbered as 0 0.5. I'm not a programmer, I'm not a musical theorist. There are some experimental scales in this uh, script that I call QQ Quaint. So bear with me, the code is not pretty, it might not be perfect, but so far it's been very fun to play with this script. So let's get to it. This is the basic operation of QQ Quaint without grid connected. You scroll with this knob through the different selections. You can change scales. You can add drift, which adds a small amount of randomization into the output. You can transpose. Change octaves. And control intervals. Let's switch on my uh, second oscillator. And third oscillator. This is Crow. It's the module that offers interaction between Norns and my module. Please note that Crow is here mounted uh, upside down. For QQ Quaint, first input is a clock. On every clock pulse, it takes the second input voltage and quantizes it to a selected scale or tuning. First the output is the root note quantized, second is first interval, third is a second interval, and then the fourth output is a clock division output. Let's see how it all works. Here on this horrible camera angle I can show you the grid, crow and norms. You can change different tunings on norms. There are several microtonal tunings and of course your regular 12 tone equally tempered. You can change tunings on the grid via these buttons. These represent internal clock divider. On every pulse that is light up, the crow output 4 sends out a trigger. This button right here toggles looping of CV 
uh, QQ Quent stores 10 last voltages and looping those is engaged via this button. These two buttons change the drift and these right here change transposition. There's 12 steps of transposition available and these bottom buttons change octaves from minus 2 to plus 2. On the side I have intervals for both outputs. Everything but the clock divider is available on the norms too. Let's patch in something so I can show you how to play with QQ Quint. First I take Vogelbach clock into Erika Synth's sequential switch, which I will be using as a sequencer here. I take a clock out from there to crow output 1. Now QQ Quint is running. I will take the input or the output from sequential switch into the input one. So now we have a voltage. And let's take output one into DPO, one volt per octave input. Let's take uh, DPO square into Optimix. Out from Optimix to Echo phone for some nice delay. And finally, echo phone output into my mixer. And we should have sound. We have a sequence running. And let's switch into some more interesting tuning. Let's take just intonation undertone. I switch it here from the grid. Then we of course have the clock output or trigger output from Chrome. Let's patch it into the Optimix strike. Slow the clock a bit and here we can trigger our switch on which um, steps the output is triggered. Let's switch off some notes. So here we uh, snap the sequencer and our incoming sequence into these selected notes. Playing with the sequencer here. And let's set up a bit of randomization so, so I can show you the looping functionality. I take a vogel bug stepped out into first input of the sequence of switch, smooth output into fourth, and vogel out So now we have a bit of randomization going on. Not every uh, sequence or eight step sequence is the same. Let's engage loop. Now we are just looping the 10 last voltages uh, on the QQ quid. I can switch the sequence and nothing happens because we are looping. We can transpose the loop. switch octaves put these notes back on and let's go back to our sequence which I have modified let's disengage loop Now we are looping again. I want to add the intern interval functionality. I take DPO out, put it into Instro IO47 filter, 
take the low pass from there into Optimix. We are now running through the filter. And let's take a first interval out and put it into the one, one volt per octave input. Now with the interval we can change the cutoff. The range is not great for this. Let's take the third output, put it into DPO uh, modulation oscill oscillator. We can of course take that out. I have not tuned this, so let's see what we have. I'll take the gate output from the sequencer switch to max to get an envelope for our, our second oscillator. here changes the interval of the DPO first oscillator. Let's add a bit of drift for maximum microtonal chaos. Let's change scale. Okay, that's QQ Quaint. It's my first script for Norns and Crow and Grid. And it's been really fun making it and playing with it. I, I have a thread for QQ Quaint on Lines forum, which I will be linking in the description. There is a readme on GitHub. There's uh, instructions on how to put in your own scales if you want to. Uh, you can put in any custom scales as long as the different intervals can be represented as mathematical formulas from a root note. So, I'd be glad to hear your comments down below or on lines. Any bug reports or anything you'd see that would be good to add on QQ Quaint is highly appreciated. So, if you have a Norns, Crit, and Crow, please check out QQ Quaint. I think it's uh, it's quite good.